Hi friends, welcome to ADP Day World. This is Varun Ganga. Friends, in our last session, we have seen an example how to find the cube of a given number by using Yavadunam Sutra, which is very near to the base 400. But now in this session, we are going to see a new example that is how to find the cube of a given number by using Yavadunam Sutra, which is very near to the base 500. So why do it? Let us see what that example is. So the example that I am going to take in this session is find the cube of 504 so friends in order to find the cube of 504 we do have some parts of procedures that what we have to do first so the first part of procedure what we have to do here is the left part so here in the left part the first step what we have to do is we have to find the nearest base of the given number and the nearest base of the given number 504 here is 500 after finding the nearest base now we have to find excess so the excess is found out by comparing the given number with the base what we have got so here the given number is 504 and the base is 500 and if you compare these two numbers we get an excess of 4 and it is taken over here after finding the excess now what we have to do here is we have to multiply the excess with 3 so therefore by multiplying 3 into 4 we get 12 as the product after getting the product now what we have to do here is we have to add the product what we have got with the base 500 so therefore by adding 500 with the 12 we get 512 and this 512 is regarded as the required left part after completing the process of left part and moving to the process of middle part the first step what we have to do here is we have to take the answer part we have got in the left part and we have to find the nearest base as well as excess so therefore the nearest base of 512 is 500 and the excess is 12 I think you know that the excess is found out by comparing the number 512 with 500. So if you compare these two numbers, we get an excess of 12 and it is taken over here. After finding the nearest base and excess, now moving to step number 2, now what we have to do here is, we have to multiply the new excess that is 12 with the actual excess that is 4. So therefore by multiplying 12 into 4, we get 48 and this 48 is regarded as the required middle part. After completing the process of middle part, now moving to the process of right part, the first and the last step what we have to do here is, we have to cube the actual excess. So here the actual excess what we have got is 4 and by cubing the number 4 we get 64 and this 64 is regarded as the required right part. Now after finding all the parts, now what we have to do here is, we have to take the base what we have got that is 500 and we have to ignore the zeros. If we ignore the zeros, then we get a new number called 5. And now what we have to do here is, we have to multiply the left part with the square of the number 5 and the middle part with the number 5. So therefore, left part, what we are going to get here is 512 into 5 square which is equals to 512 into 25 and which is equals to 12,800. And coming to the middle part, now what we will get here is, 48 into 5 is equals to 240. Now after getting the left part, the middle part and the right part, now again what we have to do here is, we have to write all the answers of all the parts in an order in the following way. So friends, here I am writing the left part, the middle part and the right part. Now let us place some horizontal and vertical bars over here. So friends, I think you know that here we are finding the cube of a given 3 digit number. And the base what we have taken here is 500. So therefore we had to take only two digits in right part as well as in the middle part. But in left part we can have as many digits as we want. So friends if we observe the right part, the answer what we have got here is 64, it is a two digit number so there is no problem in it. So therefore we can take this answer that is 64 directly in our answer like this. And now moving to the middle part, here the answer what we have got is 240, it is a three digit number. So therefore now what we have to do here is we have to take the last two digits that is 4 and 0 and the remaining number that is 2 should be taken as carry on to the next part that is to the left part and we have to add to it. So therefore by taking this 2 to the left part and by adding to 12800 we get 12802. Now let me place one more horizontal bar below it and let me write all the answers what I have got. So here in the right part the answer what I have got is 64 and in the middle part the answer what I have got is 40 and finally in the left part the answer what I have got is 12802 and by combining all the answers of all the parts we get the final result and therefore we can say that 504 cube is equals to 
So friends, this is the way how we can use Evadunam Sutra in finding the cube of a given 3 digit number which is very near to the base 500. I hope that you have understood pretty well how to use this Evadunam Sutra. So friends, in the next session we will be having some more examples regarding with the same concept. For watching this video, thank you, have a nice day.